we have another uh, session coming up which is going to be a case study on gaming and marketing possibilities to do so may i please uh, welcome and invite I Mr. Amit Thete, General Manager, Marketing and Customer Journey, Mercedes-Benz India. A very warm welcome to you. Yeah, thank you so much for uh, that short introduction. And uh, uh, first of all, uh, even before I start, I must uh, uh, I must I thank Ifo Media and uh, all the participants for you know giving us this opportunity to be here. I am also joined with my colleague uh, David, who's helping me on the presentation. He has. Uh, uh, is basically responsible for gaming so uh, i would say he's he's an expert of the topic uh, i was uh, i was present at the conference a bit, bit uh, before only and i also was uh, witness to the uh, panel discussion that happened and also the previous uh, talk that was there and uh, to to i mean it was only uh, beneficial to me in terms of gain of a lot of knowledge and uh, you know i could actually make out that you know the gaming industry is uh, going in absolutely right direction and uh, there are so many facts and figures that uh, you know one could hear that only goes to build up the confidence uh, as a marketeer for me so uh, in my uh, short presentation i am going to focus on uh, uh, you know uh, more of strategy and uh, the marketing approach to it of course, uh, there are certain uh, certain details that we have uh, from our internal, uh, you know, uh, analysis as well as, uh, you know, researches. So, first of all, uh, I would say that uh, gaming uh, as a perception, uh, probably uh, for uh, uh, from our point of view, is uh, is not is not an area that we have ventured too much in India. But yes, globally, it has already started uh, uh, to be taking on board. And it's no more a child's play. It's definitely much more evolved, um, uh, a matured uh, platform wherein, uh, you know, if, we, if you just have a glance at the figures wherein, you know, around $165 billion uh, industry, and it's actually overwhelming. Uh, it's uh, 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 because, the, uh, because of the accessibility, because of, uh, you know, one can actually uh, get onto the gaming from the place of his own convenience, uh, it has become so popular that, you know, the industry is going at such a rapid pace. Also, our understanding is about, uh, you know, around say 50% of uh, the gaming is contributed from, uh, say, mobile phones. And uh, at the same time, I would say that uh, with today's uh, cloud technology, it has basically only uh, been contributing to expanding the gaming world. And that basically becomes gaming uh, a very convenient platform for engagement. And uh, it accesses, uh, uh, you know, uh, basically it fuels your accessibility. It also, uh, you know, if you go to see the, uh, the kind of popularity the gaming uh, world has, uh, right from your PUBGs to Clash of Clans, etc., wherein uh, what is the what is the reason behind it it's basically you know it's easily accessible anybody can just uh, you know anybody can just get onto it from there to your professional gaming i think it's more of uh, you know uh, uh, more of the uh, engagement that people are trying people are finding uh, interesting day by day and that's the reason i think uh, we also believe that you know it's 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 a, it's is the platform that one has to be going next so uh, if i move to the next one yeah uh, here basically what i'm trying to say is uh, uh, some figures uh, with our uh, uh, you know uh, internal uh, uh, analysis wherein uh, the age group for gaming is very very young so around 85 percent of uh, the audience is around 18 to 34 years old uh, 34 of 34 percent of them are um, uh, they are more fans with full-time career. So that means these people alongside managing their own careers, successful entrepreneurs, they, are, they have their own businesses, they still manage gaming because of course it consumes a lot of time. Then you also have uh, around 32% of them are into higher income bracket. So maybe the, uh, maybe the conceptions around gaming that, you know, uh, somebody who doesn't, uh, somebody uh, who, who's into gaming is not a successful professionalism myth. 
these are very very highly successful professionals and they are still managing their passion for gaming and uh, i heard uh, on the panel that you know in india i think 40% is the audience which is uh, female uh, female audience for uh, gaming globally the figures are around slightly skewed around 71% is what our understanding is male dominated target audience now uh, uh, at the at the helm of uh, uh, esport these are all very very highly educated tech savvy kind of uh, millennials at present they belong to very affluent uh, backgrounds they understand what uh, gaming means they understand the uh, the facts figures analytics behind it they are extremely modern they they want to be uh, you know they want to be in the area where they actually uh, you know uh, have they have found their own passion and this also is somewhat similar to our own target audience so uh, Uh, the traditional brands if you see like us or maybe say uh, coke red bull everybody is entering gaming globally the reason is you know we have a kind of a overlap of that target audience and this also is probably because uh, you know uh, the way uh, online gaming works is very very similar to any other sport traditionally has been working so it is layered there are people who are uh, uh, who are the sponsors there are there are teams which are professionals there are amateurs there are people who enjoyed only watching it there are people who really like to participate and as a brand we are taking the cognizance of the same and we understand that you know this could be definitely a way to go ahead so we uh, we go to the next one uh, here basically uh, as regards to the mercedes benz environment uh, Uh, globally we have a tie up with uh, uh, online gaming uh, in 2019 i think we had uh, one on ground event uh, with esl at mumbai i um, and david both of us were part of that event and um, it was quite a good uh, success uh, however of course i mean uh, uh, i feel that you know the target audience needs to be slightly more matured for the luxury brand in india however you know we we are on on set of you know getting into uh, gaming in india as well uh when we saw that during the time of pandemic the on ground events were not happening for example formula 1 was uh, a big challenge and uh, mercedes benz is known for its 7th uh, uh, year undisputed championship at the motorsport formula 1 and that's where we shifted on to online formula 1 as a uh, as a sport and it gained immense uh, you know immense viewership uh, the figures tell me around say 30 million uh, people were watching this online and our best of our race drivers were actually participating there apart from that also uh, you know we are also uh, you know working on say gt racing etc in terms of simulators and how to take them on ground uh, online from on ground that also is uh, uh, happening parallelly so that uh, it's globally being uh, uh, you know viewed very very seriously as regards to a uh, future now being a car company the gaming has to have some uh, integration definitely with the car so if you see a picture on uh, extreme right is basically something that we are uh, working upon is uh, in car gaming and uh, recently in one of the forums it was announced of course it is at a development stage so imagine you are stuck in a traffic jam and then you you don't have much to do and uh, you can play a game on your uh, you know the console of the car i mean it's going to be really cool so this is probably the technology where we are looking at and in future when uh, autonomous driving also comes in frankly you just have to tell your car to take you from point a to point b and then all you have you are left with uh, doing in a car is probably play a game but of course uh, at a conceptual level and uh, still being uh, worked upon uh, that uh, said uh, uh, i have a short very short uh, promotional film uh, uh, if we could play that uh, hey, just for a glimpse as to how do we promote play the music Legends run wild. Worlds is their battleground. Each one unique with astonishing power. In a league 
of her own. Unstoppable. Master Warriors. Ready to compete. Show die. Seeking glory. We live it. We breathe it. We have each other's back. Battles are not won alone. Together, we become legends. Icons of a new generation. Yeah, so that is how, uh, you know, an integration of uh, gaming along with the right set of uh, product uh, presentation uh, was just, an, just uh, one of the examples that uh, I wanted to show. Uh, coming to my last slide, uh, it's basically uh, now what are we trying to do here in India? So as I already mentioned, uh, you know, we associated globally with ESL and uh, the first event uh, happened uh, at Mumbai 2019. And unfortunately, after that, uh, it couldn't continue uh, because of uh, the obvious reasons. But um, uh, as I said, uh, right now, the audience uh, needs to be a little more uh, you know, in place for the luxury car market. However, uh, we definitely see uh, a future with uh, online gaming and, you know, we would like to, uh, you know, think about this as a platform. Uh, as regards to a little different aspect and a, a different virtue for uh, gaming. So what you see in the, in the center, there is a, there is an, there is an image where, you know, a gentleman is actually teeing off the golf uh, game of golf. Uh, we have a 20-year-old uh, property called Mercedes Trophy, which is a corporate golf tournament for our customers and potential customers. Extremely top-end exclusive experience. And uh, we had to unfortunately discontinue it last year due to pandemic. But this year we thought that we should take it uh, uh, at a different level and give a little different kind of an experience. So we have taken it uh, online. Online as in it's, it's going to be a simulator where the customers will come to Mercedes Benz showroom. They will play a round of golf and the winners from there, they will be entitled to play on ground tournament, which is a national final. And then they can further go to represent the team India at uh, Germany. And this for a golfer, it's a, it's a very big, uh, what do you say, peg or very big uh, thing to look forward to. Now, why am I mentioning particularly this topic here is though it's not a pure uh, you know, purebred online gaming. However, it is somewhere very, very close in, in the same area, wherein there is a physical, uh, a physical interaction. Also, there is a digital interaction. And this is how I think a marketeer can make the best use of uh, both of these environments. Uh, the way... Uh, ESL was organized, wherein physically people were present on ground. We had our product displays there. We could interact with the people and that's how we can look at. Similarly, Mercedes Trophy with its physical digital uh, kind of an avatar, wherein we can get to interact with our customers. They can come, they can see our products. They will be, uh, you know, hosted at the dealership so that, you know, there is a product integration. Product integration. At the same time, they can play a game on, the sim on a simulator. The scores will be calculated online. They get their analysis, etc. So it's a different level, and it's a it's a different thought in the similar area. That's the reason I wanted to uh, you know uh, kind of appraise the round as to you know what as a luxury brand we are also uh, trying to do. Going forward, it's going to be uh, as I mentioned. It's quite it seems to be quite promising um, as uh, as a platform that we uh, definitely look forward to, and. Uh, we would like to uh, experiment here. Uh, defi uh, definitely, uh, we would like to study the uh, platform a little more. Ensure that you know it's uh, it's it's right now now getting uh, you know matured for the kind of uh, target audience, and then we would like to venture into it. And uh, as regards to uh, uh, as regards to our presence uh, uh, in terms of online gaming in India, as I uh, already mentioned, it's uh, uh, right now it is limited to uh, global, uh, uh, you know, tie-ups extension uh, in the local uh, local markets, uh, and that's how we are looking at it. But yeah, overall, I would say as a marketer, uh, I am quite uh, you know positive about. Uh, 
uh, online gaming and uh, its deployment uh, in the country. So I think uh, uh, that's more or less from my side. And uh, yeah, that's it. If should you have any questions, I'm uh, happy to answer. And uh, thank you very much again, once again, for uh, this opportunity and uh, having us here. Thank you. Thank you so much, Amit. That was a wonderful presentation. Uh, unfortunately, because of paucity of time, we can't do questions, but we'd definitely like to thank you for your time and sharing these insights here with us on the first ever edition of E4M Game On. So thank you once again. Thank you so much. Have a nice day. Thank you.